the Bone Crushers from CM Kozeman's All Tomorrows are a race of humanoids created by the Q using captured star people as the base genome. While a great many of the Q created future humans hardly resemble their Homo sapiens ancestors, the Bone Crushers, for the most part, look quite human indeed. Mostly. They are bipedal and walk upright, and still possess five digits on each hand and foot. However, as is always the case with the Q, changes were certainly made. One of these is the fact that the average bone crusher stands at around 3 meters in height and are strongly built for their primitive lifestyle. Another is the fact that they now possess a sharp, raptor-like thumb claw. And another yet is that they would show their affection for one another by defecating upon them. Try not to imagine what a bone crusher party, wedding or date would look like. But the main change, easily the most striking, is the fact that they possess large, tooth-derived beaks. The reason for this is that the ancestors of the Bone Crushers from several millions of years before them were pint-sized pets of the Q. It would seem that the Q were quite fond of keeping pets, as they had also bred the Hedonists on another far-flung world for this very purpose. The beaks of these little Q pets were said to come in an array of dazzling colours, and were specifically bred this way. As the Q always did, they left the planet behind after a few million years, and with this abandonment, most of the breeds they had created died off, save for a small amount who were particularly hardy. Some of these became herbivorous, and were preyed upon by others which became enamel-beaked raptors. But one would eventually emerge as the dominant life form on their garden world, the one form to develop sentience and human level intelligence. They would progress throughout the millennia and would manage to reach a level of primitive civilization, something that could be compared to our medieval period. This form would become the species known as the Bone Crushers. They had achieved civilization against all odds, but sadly, the Bone Crushers would progress no further. Owing to their unusual diet, which consisted exclusively of rotting flesh, the Bone Crushers would see their numbers dwindle. They would never make it as far as their distant cousins on other worlds, and after a few uneventful millennia, the Bone Crushers would die out. 